For the Imperium's finest, the Bolter is more than just a weapon. It is a holy symbol of the Emperor's wrath to be brought down on any who dare oppose the might of humanity, to cleanse the galaxy of Xenos, and to purify it of those who have betrayed them. It's perhaps the most recognisable and iconic weapon of the Imperium of Man, and the signature tool of the Adeptus Astartes. The howling of Bolter Fire makes it the ideal instrument to instill fear in the hearts of the enemies of mankind, and the perfect weapon for the shock troops who wield it. To a Space Marine, a Bolter is sacred, and must be treated with the utmost care and respect, and a diligent Marine will ensure that the multiple mechanisms of the weapon are properly tended to as part of his daily firing rituals, as to appease its machine spirit. The Bolter, or Bolt Gun, has defended mankind for millennia, and whilst it is standard issue for the Adeptus Astartes now, this has not always been the case. It was first introduced in the early years of the Great Crusade as the mainstay weapon of the Astartes, as the successor of Voltkite weapons, formerly used by the Space Marine Legions. Volkite weapons were a type of thermal ray weapons whose origins date back to the Dark Age of technology. Whilst these weapons were the predecessor of the ubiquitous Bolter, they were not lacking for power, and a single concentrated shot was capable of penetrating the thick ceramite plates of Space Marine armor. However, even for the most capable of the Mechanicum's forgers, these weapons were difficult to produce, and they could not meet the demands of the ever-expanded Crusade, so were quickly superseded by the far more utilitarian Terran Bolter. The Bolter is a large mid-range 75 caliber assault weapon, capable of firing in single and burst fire modes. There are many existing patterns of this weapon, the most common of which being the Mark 5B Godwin Pattern Bolt Gun, used by most chapters of the Adeptus Astartes. So large is the Godwin Pattern that no man could lift, let alone wield one in combat. A standard bolt gun does not feature a stock, however, the large and bulky power armor of a Space Marine is capable of suitably compensating for the hefty recoil when firing. The standard sickle-shaped magazine commonly utilized by Godwin Pattern bolt guns carries 30 bolts by standard. This weapon features an internal targeter, which is linked with the Marine's auto sensors for improved accuracy, and the weapon's grip also features a biometric sensor, allowing the user to associate the weapon with its genetic signature. But it is the ammunition that makes the weapon truly devastating. The large 75 caliber rounds are self-propelled using solid rocket fuel. This type of rocket-propelled ammunition would typically cause a pressure buildup in the barrel of the gun, which would ultimately lead to warping. However, a bolt uses a two-stage method that utilizes a small conventional charge to initially propel the round, which is shortly followed by the ignition of the rocket fuel as the bolt leaves the barrel, allowing it to travel under its own volition, maintaining its trajectory using a gyro stabilizer and giving it its characteristic roar. Inside the bolt is housed an explosive charge, with the front being made up of a depleted uranium core, an extremely dense material designed to add weight and momentum to the round. The tip is made up of a hardened diamantine and mass reactor fuse, which features a split second timer, allowing the bolt to penetrate its mark just briefly before igniting the charge, causing maximum devastation. It is not just the Godwin pattern that makes up the Imperium's arsenal, however. Some chapters of the Astartes choose to use their own variants. These include the Fenris Pattern Bolt Gun, used by Russ's Space Wolves, or the Baal Pattern Bolter, used by the Blood Angels. There are even variants designed to be wielded by unaugmented humans, such as the Godwin Diaz Pattern Bolter. This weapon is standard issue for all orders militant of the Adeptus Sororitas, and is also wielded by some officers of the Imperial Guard and members of the Adeptus Arbitus. Whilst much smaller in size, this weapon is still formidably destructive. In whichever form the omnipotent bolt gun comes, it has brought destruction and death to the enemies of humanity for 10,000 years, and will continue to do so as long as those who oppose the Imperium of Mankind exist. Whether it comes in the form of a storm bolter wielded by the elite Terminators, or as a Mark II cool pattern bolt rifle, in the hands of the new breed of Primaris Space Marines, the iconic bolt gun lives on so long as there are wars to be fought, and in the grim darkness of the future, there is only war. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.